So we're here at the Embedded World 2018. Hello, hi everybody, my name is Roman and I'm from ST Electronics. Uh, let me give you a little guide, uh, tour around our booth uh, and show you the key new things that we are showcasing here by ST or by our partners. One of the key and coolest uh, new product we have here is our new system on chip uh, combining STM32 and RF transceiver. Let's go check it out so what it is new, about. New chip, new product. Exactly, this is a completely new product line opening the STM32 to the new type of products and applications. Yeah. All right. So let me introduce Natalie, which is the product Hi. owner of this uh, new line. Hello. Hello. So uh, what is this new chip? What does it do? OK, this uh, new chip is a uh, STM32 with wireless. And uh, uh, so uh, why are you showing like bicycles and helmets and stuff like that? So we are showing that because we want to, uh, to show the capability of our product to support BLE. Uh, in a different mode than the usual mode. That means that uh, we are in router mode and we are showing he's a master and slave uh, through BLE. So it's a nice way of uh, showing um, uh, this feature through this uh, kind of application. And uh, here you have some uh, like, like demos running it and is it with the e-ink display? Yeah, we, so here we are showing uh, like a smart home <laughs> application where we can uh, control different uh, applications within the home through a router, uh, which is there, supporting our new device, wireless device. So uh, is it on there? Tablet. Yes, it's there. So we have three packages, and uh, here it's a QFN 69, uh, 68, and we have also a QFN 48 and a WLCP uh, 100. And what we are showing is uh, our product is supporting uh, multi-protocol BLE and 802.15.4. So multi-protocol uh, with also concurrent mode, uh, with uh, open thread and uh, BLE 5.0. So is it on the SOC? Yes, Every, it's a, exactly. It's everything a, is on the SOC, so it yes. optimizes the power consumption, optimizes the price, or everything? Exactly. So we are having uh, like a STM32, L4 Plus, and RFIP on the same silicon, so it's a really the same uh, SOC. And what does it show here? So here uh, we are showing also a nuclear board uh, with our product, and uh, through this demo we are showing that uh, all the command uh, on this bike are sent to uh, uh, helmets and t-shirts. The t-shirt? This t-shirt here, so we have uh, also our product here with a QFN. So it's so small it can be a uh, sticker, like a pins. It can like, like a pins. Like a beacon, like a pins, uh, exactly. Uh, so it's uh, like a plug and play uh, board. Uh, How long is the battery life for a little battery? With a little battery, or you can for many months you can uh, cool. you can you can last, yeah. All right, that's awesome. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Natalie. So let's go around a little bit uh, and yeah. around the other corner to show you a next new okay. cool product we have. All right. There's a big booth right here. Lots of uh, yes. lots of small uh, partners. Uh, I can I can tell you. Maybe you won't believe it, but we have 40 different showcasing here on ST booth, and we have 28 oh. partners, uh, makers, universities, yeah. startup companies. Uh, you know, presenting their products okay. on the fan zone. But we'll All go right. there. Don't worry. So the next uh, next area, yeah, and the next new product I would like that uh, we introduce to all of you is our new NFC line with uh, integrated PWM uh, output channel. Yeah. All right. So uh, um, is yes. it uh, right here launched? Yeah, this is the area that we, we are showing all the NFC related products. OK. Yeah. And uh, Juliana will tell you a few words uh, about this new product line. Hi. Hi. So uh, this is NFC on the SOC? This is an NFC tag I see. So an interface allowing you to, uh, to work with the near-field communication. And this is a very new one, special one, because this is what we call an STA dynamic tag, a tag that is coming together with a second interface. The second interface is, in this case, a PWM uh, signal generation. Indeed, we So where can is, the, is the solution on here? The component is here. The components there? Yes. Because uh, NFC is shipping billions and billions and billions of tags there are every year, right. but they're not dynamic, most no. of them, right? Correct. So dynamic, mean, what does it mean? 
It means that we are adding some uh, second interface to the usual RF interface. The second interface is a generally a wired interface. The most common one is to add a nice QRC interface that is able to, to make the product communicate with, an, with a microcontroller behind. So this just lets you get insight into any embedded uh, electronics. Is this the development board for that? This is a discovery board. Discovery board with so the solution most, on it? Or no? Yes. Yeah. The solution is there. So what does it do? It allows, for example, in a, the example that we have here you know, with the washing machine, yeah. to get access to the microcontroller which is handling the, the tool. You can do programming into the production line with this device. And yeah. this is a product that allows you to do the configuration uh, without any power supply, because this is a passive device. And it's, uh, the solution is very compact, uh, it's a small chipset, but is there an ARM Cortex-M0 or something? No, like no, there is no SOC, this is just an air, a communication, adding communication. In this case, there is not even any microcontroller inside. Indeed, this is a brand new solution. There is no other solution like that in the market today. Nothing. No, it's the very first one that is coming to the market with this so, uh, this capability to add to an interface, NFC interface, a PWM ge signal generation that allow you to do some control of the vari of variation of power. Like for example, the lighting intensity can be directly set and controlled through the interface without the need any of any microcontroller. So when we in the future get um, like a, a train card or a smart card or something, maybe there's a little button or maybe there's a little LED or maybe something like that? No, no, not really. This is not an really. application really meant to, uh, to apply. And this is not for ticketing, for example. Okay. You have that for ticketing, but in that case, you won't have a second interface. This is a step ahead because you had the second interface to a tag IC that in general doesn't have. In, the, in, in this way, you can open and enlarge the, uh, yeah. broaden the capability of the chip, okay. and you can get, for example, a control over the light intensity yeah. in this case. All right, that's cool. So how soon May is it available? This is right here. It's already available as board. You can find on st.com the uh, data brief already for this device, and we are going to ship it very soon. In billions of quantities. Uh, this is my hope, at least. All right. Cool. All right. Thank you. Right. Perfect. Very good. So let's go just around the corner. Yeah. Where we have very nice package. Uh, you know, we decided to make the life of all our customers and designers easy. So we combine all the hardware and software ecosystem into one package that we call STM32 Cellular to Cloud. Basically, it brings you all the necessary hardware all the necessary uh, software ecosystem, including uh, the deal with the operators. Is there a modem here? Yeah, there's a modem, and my colleague Ronan will give you a little bit more details about the solution. What modem is that? The ST modem? Uh, no, this is a model from our partner Quectel, supporting uh, different technologies, uh, 2G, 3G, but of course also the incoming LT and BIOT network. And BIOT. Exactly. Right, and it just plugs in nicely for three Yeah, so this is the hardware, okay. right? But then also you, you get uh, all, the, all the service, so you get the eSIM card access uh, to the worldwide operator for both technologies uh, and all the firmware to be able to connect to the cloud. So let's check it out. So, Tell us a little bit more. Hello, yes, the solution is very, very simple. We add, uh, uh, we connect the modem to the main board, okay? Yeah. And then uh, the, the Is this the modem? <laughs> yes, this is the modem, it's the same. So, so um, it's so what does it add? LTE, NBIOT? Yes, LTE, NBIOT, yeah. uh, category M1 on uh, category yeah. NB1. Uh, yeah. It's already provisioned with the uh, MD5, so we have an embedded SIM. And I can turn the board if you want to, okay. to show you. Yeah. There is a, also a socket for the SIM, so you can choose with the GPIO, you can select either the SIM socket or the embedded SIM. All right. And in our demo, as the SIM. Embedded SIM, yes. Embedded SIM. Yes. And in our demo, we have a network uh, simulator. So we connect the device to our network simulator, which in two parts. Uh, RF parts on the software that's run on this laptop, and this laptop is also connected to internet, so the data is sent from the device to the simulator and then to the cloud. And from the cloud you can also uh, drive the device 
for example, we, we can toggle a LED. Ah, yeah, yeah. And as you can see, a, a colleague ah, of mine good. is also and in uh, Barcelona mm -hmm. for the and Mobile World Congress. To, to so we have both so the configuration on two, two different dashboards. That's uh, our solution. Uh, this board right here, what is the name of yes, that, uh, that the, board? Yes, the, the, this board is a discovery board, uh, which is based on the uh, L ultra uh, low power uh, microcontroller, which is the L496. And uh, the, the modem, we also have the second solution. With this modem, with also a quick tail, pin to pin compatible with the, the, the PG96. This one is PG96. And uh, for this board, with the category M1 and NB1, we also have a 2G fallback. In case. And uh, is there a price for the whole? Uh, the yes, the, the two kits are at the same price. It's one hundred and ten dollars, most or less, in a main distributor. All right. So uh, this is going to uh, uh, help revolutionize the the whole uh, IoT over NB IoT kind of. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Because uh, customers have a complete solution. They, don't need to go in ST for the MCU, in Quetel for the modem, so we on the also for the operator, all the solutions embed, all the parts, also the cloud, different cloud access on technologies on protocol, HTTP, HTTPS, Coap, MQTT, and also LW, M2M with the partners. How much is the power consumption on your board and on this board? The power consumption of the board, in stop mode, the MCU is uh, three micro -humps. On the modem in category M1 and B1 is 9 micro amps in a PSM which stands for power save mode. Uh, soon, in Q2 this year, so you need to wait a few weeks, a few months, and uh, it will be ready. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Welcome. Perfect. Thanks. So, basically, with these uh, three main lines, uh, we went uh, through uh, the booth, but as you can see, there are a lot of other subjects around. Uh, we show graphics, we show, we showcase uh, motor control, yes, yeah, so basically this is our reference design, uh, you know, showing how to use our products like drivers, uh, yeah. like uh, power components and microcontrollers for applications such as one. Exactly. And you see it's including the gimbal control, which is uh, following, uh, uh, you know, the, the shooting, yeah. video shooting uh, with the drone application. Yeah. Exactly. So we have a well one one interesting subject. Yes, we have a, now also solution around artificial intelligence, which is becoming very uh, interesting for many of our customers. Uh, we have two solutions. Uh, one which is built around the STM32. Okay, so we use the use the performance of the general purpose micro, doing uh, deep learning functionality. And for more the high-end solution, we are preparing a dedicated uh, ASIC multi-core device. Uh, with, with a lot of power to do very deep learning uh, neuron uh, sites. Type C power delivery, display port. Definitely. So moving with the with the new trend of uh, Type C solutions. Uh, today we have uh, different products for standalone or microcontroller based uh, operations of Type C. All right. Um, MEMS power management sensors. Absolutely. So you you know ST is providing many many different products. Uh, not only microcontrollers, but we have sensors. We have signal conditioning, operation amplifiers. So the big advantage is that we bring to our customers really a list and set of components you can build around. And it's not only about the products, you see, we also bring all the different uh, boards that ease the customer life and make his evaluation very easy and very simple. So you can go quickly from prototype to the final product. Nice. And um, do you have, uh, you have lots of uh, partners or uh, universities doing some stuff? Exactly. So you see here uh, on the booth, uh, we focus mainly on the ST solutions. Yeah. But uh, since we have a huge ecosystem of partners, uh, makers, universities, uh, yeah. mainly around STM32, uh, yeah. we concentrate a selection of a few of them on our fan zone. Yeah. So this is the STM32 fan zone. And uh, as you can we see, can see uh, like there, just are really, one second. there are really a yeah. lot of uh, different things. Right. Uh, how about we check this one here? Okay. How about this? So yes, so here we are in the, you see, STM32 education corner, yeah. right? And here we concentrate a couple of universities from Europe uh, showcasing their different stuff like student projects or uh, tools that can help uh, in the university during the education uh, classes. So hi, so who are you? Hi, uh, my name is Andre Ile. I'm from the uh, Department of Measurement of Czech Technical University. We are actually in close cooperation with ST Microelectronics. What is going on here? Uh, around here we've got around here we've got a 
software defined instruments. What that means is it's a cheap way for students how to realize their own oscilloscope or a signal generator. Software defined instrument. Exactly. Oscilloscope and what else? Oscilloscope, arbitrary waveform generator, you've got a PVM generator, you've got counter, you've got everything which you need, and it all it's actually just for 10, 10 euros, 10 to 15 euros. I'm not exactly. What is this board? Price. Is it meant to be an oscilloscope? No, no, no. This is actually a standard development kit from ST Microelectronics, and we use it, we program the firmware, and we created a set of applications for uh, also for Windows, for Linux that are all actually available uh, online, you can download it. And actually it's a very cheap way for students how, how they can realize their own home domestic instrumentation and it's, it's uh, cool. like the price, price performance ratio of this is actually very good. So, so are you putting all this open source or are you helping everybody else to do this? Uh, it's partially open source at the moment. The source code is not available, but the binaries and the applications have, are available for open use. And we are considering to unify, since there are several applications, we would like to unify it and then publish the source code. So too. when you do an oscilloscope with this board, how is it accurate compared to a, like a proper oscilloscope? Uh, it's actually, that actually depends on the AD converter that's in the STM chip. That one is 8-bit. So it's less accurate since uh, the commercial ones are at least 12. Uh, 16, some are 24 bits, so it's less accurate. But as I've said, what's actually, it's not a selling point since it's for students, but what's yeah. actually the good thing is the price performance ratio. So that's that's the main thing. What do you do on this one? This is, uh, this is a minimalistic solution. And the main idea here is uh, that the only two components that you need is the MCU and the voltage controller. And you connect over USB and the the trick is done actually by selecting the proper MCU which has a USB bootloader so you can actually just plug in here and you don't need you don't need this part which is in this one this is the ST link where you need you know where you need the programmer nice. so you don't, don't need the programmer chip and you actually directly boot it over USB so by yeah. by turning this switch you can switch between boot mode where you just download the firmware and run mode and everything works so, so it's do you think the ST development boards are all perfect or do, uh, do you have some uh, feature request for what should what would be cool uh for me i don't have a feature request okay. at the moment it's pretty good what's there yeah i think it's it's quite quite enough quite cool okay thanks a lot okay thank, thank you. you very much cool okay let me jump over here okay perfect so let's again just move a little bit around the corner and we continue with another university this time it's inside toulouse and inside toulouse is is, yeah. is showcasing here really uh, different uh, student projects okay and uh, we'll have our colleagues here to introduce to introduce some of them. All right. Daniela, are you ready? Hello. Perfect. Hello. So, uh, what are you showing here? So, we are coming from Issa Toulouse, which, yeah. which is an engineering school in south of France. And we show here the lab classes and the projects our students developed, developed around the um, STM32 board. Yeah. So you can see here a Game Boy developed by our students Where based on the Discovery STM32 board. There's a Game so Boy running it, there? Yes, it's a Game Boy. You can play Tetris here if you want. Okay. Da, 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 da. And this is based. Okay, so... so Tetris. All right. So this lab classes is based on the discovery board, which uses a lot of uh, sensors. And you put some stuff here? Yes, we developed our own design, our own board, based on STM32 discovery board. Nice. So is and it a great for the students to work with? They are really excited because this allows them to learn how to program embedded systems. You can see here another project. This is for the first year students. It's a real-time uh, system project implemented on the STM32 microcontroller. And here, this is a master level project. This is a master level project for the last year of master based on the Leo board, which will manage all the sensors around the car to transform this car in an autonomous vehicle, like a mini Google car. Cool. Autonomous. Self-driving. Self-driving, of course. 
you can see the video here of demonstrating yeah. the self car, the self driving car. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you, you to you. Thanks Thank you. Okay, so just to close the STM yeah. 32 education corner, you see we have also AGH from Krakow. Yeah. And here, what, what the guys are showing, our solution which has been started as a, as a project students, but at the end they were so good, so they were industrialized by their partner. Okay, so Whoa. they move really from the student and the connection Make between... Make real products. Exactly, so the connection between the university and the industry is very close there. Okay. Nice. And these are, like for example, there's an e-ink yeah, right so here doing some stuff. So exactly, these are like a sensor node, so you can see some of the data on the e-ink, but they are also reported to the gateway. And you see they have a couple of anchors around our booth, and then uh, everything is concentrated here on the server of the gateway. It's the, it's the coolest thing when the uh, students can start making real businesses, right? Absolutely, So uh, and I think AGH is one a very good example. They did a they did their own branch of their uh, startup uh, company, which is really moving the student projects to the industrial versions. Nice. Okay. Should we swim around? There? Yes. Let's go this direction to yeah. see. Uh, so we move from the education. We started from the demo demo ports of ST. Then we look on the education. But here we have some uh, of our customers. So people that really develop uh, final products uh, based on the different products of ST. Okay. And one of them is Letty CA from France. And their project is very cool. Let's check it out. Hi, so, uh, hi. Hi there. So what is Letty? Letty is a research center based uh, in France out of Grenoble. And uh, we develop uh, silicon uh, uh, material and research and also uh, software solutions. Are, are you creating the dream of everybody to have a drone that follows you and never crashes and stuff like that? Is that uh, what it is? Absolutely. This really? is what it is, yes. So what uh, we're displaying here, uh, we built this out of a commercial drone and uh, we implemented it with our sensor fusion software which uh, basically controls the uh, trajectory of the drone. So uh, uh, are there any cameras or sensors? What's here? Absolutely. So we transformed the drone, that co commercial drone, and equipped it with six uh, time of flight sensors from uh, ST Micro that you see here. Time uh, of flight? And, yeah, time of flight. So is it a camera? Or what is it's, it? uh, it sends a light uh, beam and then uh, measures the time it takes to eco Ooh. back. Is that like uh, not IR? Uh, it's in infrared. infrared. Yeah. It is it's IR? In, yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. precisely. And uh, then it's able to position the drone and uh, uh, detect obstacles and their distance. So one, two, three, three four, four, five, one, and one six. at the bottom. Okay. And that's the trick. That's enough. Yeah. Uh, that's it's enough. never going to well, crash? The, it's never going to crash. So the trick is that it's a highly efficient piece of software which compiles on STS, STM32. And, uh, Where is the STM32? Uh, the STM32 is right here. Uh, this is the original uh, board of, uh, of the drone. It's an F4. It's F4? An STM32. Yeah. So, Cortex M4? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yes, yeah? exactly. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, what is the software? The software is being developed uh, at Leti, so it uh, uses a, a smart algorithm uh, based on uh, Bayesian fusion. And um, the trick is that we use uh, integer numbers instead of floating units. The beauty is you get a, an autopilot, uh, auto, uh, autonomous drone, anti-crash solution. How long is the battery? Uh, it, it lasts for six minutes. Six uh, minutes. Can we see the action? Absolutely. Cool. And the additional weight is only eight grams on that drone. Oh. That's what makes it. Nice. So you plug the battery or something? Yeah, yeah. plug the battery. And then uh, you have this globe. Absolutely. So we'll have it. So Arno's placing it. We'll have it fly into the uh, into the sphere. Is it a voice command? No, no voice command. Uh, no voice yeah, command. we're, we're just going to enable it. This, yeah. this remote for the takeoff order. Okay. And it's only all. just to launch oh. it. Okay. So we're ready to take off. And so we move the sphere. It's never going to crash. Because all these drones are very fun, right? People are buying drones, but they're crashing them every five minutes. Absolutely. So, so this is... Uh, and it's complicated to control. Yes, there's lots of applications. Obviously, it can also be assistance to flying yeah. the drone for pipe inspections. This is another application.
So in this in this fair is the third day, right? Or has it crashed? Okay, yeah, it, okay. it does. So the, reason, well. the reason of the crash is there's a lot of interference with the ambient lights okay. because these sensors are actually uh, working on uh, certain uh, light frequencies. And, and it has to uh, detect some kind of transparent transparent things here. Absolutely, yeah. So there's reflection you, of. Uh, it's easier to detect something a real wall. Uh, it's really it really depends of the reflectivity. So it depends really of the material. But How about a, a, a tree? Um, we don't try it, so we can we can say. But is it good uh, to adjust with the wind, or do you have that um, kind of stuff, or is it only indoors now? For now, it's only indoor because of the size of the drone. But we want to make it on bigger drones with um, more sensors, like radar, ultrasonic. So. So my dream, what I would like to have is two or three of them follow me yeah. around, sure. and then they land on my backpack to change the battery. Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. We will try. Yeah. We will try. Yeah. And it, it has to work indoors, outdoors, everywhere. We will try. We will try. Yeah. Cool. Is the STM32 fast enough for this? Yeah. Everything yeah, we need. Approximately 10% of CPU is used for the algorithm, so, so we you have. Can, you can think of new algorithms. For yeah, the yeah, other yeah. IT. A lot. Yeah, all yeah. kinds of stuff. Yeah. There's another application we're, which we're running. We'll demo this at the end of the year. It's a, it's a white cane for visually impaired people, which we will equip with the same software on STM32 and other type of sensors. Like no, no, it will be equipped on, uh, on, the, cane. on, on the cane. And uh, then it will connect to your phone, and uh, there will be a, a, an audio translation, 3D space nice. audio modeling about, of your environment. How about maybe you could have some feedback, uh, like uh, uh, on the on the uh, There will cane. be also feedback, yeah, like on the uh, cane. vibrations yeah. or yeah. something, right? So thanks to the software and the STM32, it opens up a whole new breadth of application for uh, all it's, sorts of things. The, awesome. the drone is only just an illustration of it, but there's I many, think many more. Of people are waiting for you to solve all these things. Absolutely. Cool. Okay. Thank well, you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you guys. Cool. Very good. Thank you. So let's move around the corner again. And you know, uh, I told you we have a lot of products. Yeah. We have a wide ecosystem of boards uh, that are allowing our yeah. customers and makers to develop quickly. And in supporting doing this, uh, we are also giving more than 5,000 boards uh, free of charge okay, during the show. So people are coming in, they can select one or two out of the, They can select one or two out of 12 boards. Okay, they scan their, uh, their, uh, their badge yeah. and they will receive an email with the registration link and with a special promotion code to retrieve the board free of charge. Just type in the address and ship? No, the email address is taken from the badge. All okay, right. so and it's very simple. They will get it shipped at home or pick it yeah, up? They here? will get it shipped to the mailing address they will put uh, inside uh, the system. Okay, All right. and I have here two, two guys which just registered a few minutes ago. So, guys, so, so thank you. you so we are working in Continental CPU and we are dealing with uh, electronics for automotive in everyday automotive. job. Yeah. Automotive, yes. Uh, and where are you based? In Romania, CPU. Romania? Yes. And uh, um, so uh, what kind of stuff do you think maybe you can do with this? So we, we registered for this uh, free boards because also in the electronics is my passion and also in the free time I make the small projects at home for different small home automation or now we want to build a small home near the city, the big city for the weekend and I'm trying to automate Are things. you building a self-driving car? Uh, not, not quite. Not quite, not yet. Not yet. Are you not building us. a, a smart are. home? Uh, yeah, so at, at, the job, at the job we are dealing with electronics for powertrain. For training. automated uh, gearboxes and in the in the free time home automation and yeah kind of is a cool show here yeah it's yeah. very nice world? yes it's very nice we are in a business trip and yeah. we wanted to see it and they have some cool boards yeah, yeah very okay. useful cool all right thanks a lot thank you thank you, thank you. Have a nice day bye, bye. bye. perfect cool. so let's move on a bit uh, yeah. And so we, we visit the education, yeah. we visit some of the makers and yeah. we continue here where we have another group of, uh, of people really doing cool projects based on our products. Yeah. So let's uh, check out with, uh, with these guys from Photon coming from Poland. They have a very nice robot uh, for education from small kids 
to the teenagers and they will show a little bit more details about that. Nice. Hello. Hello. This is a cool looking robot. Yeah, thank you. So, thank you. Um, hi, so who are you? So I'm Mike, I'm from Photon Entertainment Company and we are the manufacturer of this robot. So this is Photon. What's the name of this guy? This is Photon. Photon. Yeah. So it's a little dog that, that lights, he likes It's not the a light. dog, it's a robot. A robot likes the light. No. This robot, we teach children about logical thinking and coding. So what we Ooh. do is that we have four programming interfaces, I will show you in a minute, and we teach them how to create code and how to make it move, make it react to an environment and how to make it alive. Is it for sale? Yeah, of course. We have started in August and right now it is for sale. What's the price? So it costs 199 euros. All right. Uh, so so how do we program it? Let, yep. me, let me just put it on the ground. So here we can see one. Right here. Yeah. Here we can see one of the programming interfaces. So uh, right now we created a, a program when we repeat to drive forward and then if a uh, robot will see an obstacle, it will turn right. If I hit play, we can see the robot is driving and, and when I will show him an obstacle, he will just avoid it. Nice. So we have more, we have more categories. We can uh, make him drive, we can make some sounds, we can change colors. But also we can react to sensors. Robot has some sensors inside, yeah. uh, so it can react to obstacles, to the change of light, to some touch, to the change of ground contrast, as well as for the loud sounds and for the uh, shakes from the accelerometer. And what is the chipset inside? So we use STM Cortex M3 from ST Company. Also, STM32? yeah, STM32. So it is STM32 F103. Uh, but also we use some uh, time of flight sensor inside, which is great because it is really small and it was very Why easy. Have the time of flight sensors? Here, so it was very easy to, to put it inside and cover it with the glass because at the beginning we had some problems to cover the sensor. But with this sensor, it was very easy to do. Cover the glass by glass, and it knows exactly the distance. Yeah. The, you think how far can it know? So right now we use 150 centimeters, and that's completely uh, enough. enough for us. So so that's great. Do you have anything that it avoids to fall down the stairs or no? Right now, no, but still you can uh, write some program to, to uh, see if the contrast change and yeah. then you can try to avoid it, but right now, cool. no. So, uh, uh, do you sell worldwide? So, uh, we've, start, we've launched in August because we are a Polish company, we started with Polish market, but this year we are going abroad, we will be available in Germany, UK and some other European countries. But still, if you are interested, just visit uh, meetphoton.com and we will be sure to, to, to sell you one of these. Cool! Royal! Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, in June. Did she buy one? Yeah, not, not really, but she was in June in Poland and she played, she created some code for Photon and they like it a lot. And she doesn't have any cash on her, you know, no pockets. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, she, she didn't have one, but she didn't bring her kids, so so yeah. she, they they didn't buy one because they didn't have kids. But still, we will send them. Yeah, one. they need one, no matter if Brexit. Yeah, they will they need, need a, one. They will need a Polish robot. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Cool. Are you planning to do bigger ones? Uh, can you wash the dishes, uh, clean the clothes? So or? right now we are very focused on Photon. Yeah. So we will develop this product. Maybe in future we will we will do some more robots. But uh, actually we, we do clean dishes with Photons. We just need three of them, we'll create some code, and then we, we wash the dishes with them. Nice. So. And bring the beer, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can have it on the back, yeah, carry so, it over. So what we do at the, in our office, here are the magnets. Oh. So we have some uh, custom 3D printed accessories. Have a stand here? Yeah, we have a stand for a beer or a bottle. That's so perfect. yeah, you right. can buy one <laughs> to, to, to drive with a bottle. This is the dream of every guy. Yeah, yeah. To have this. All right. That's why we do it. Cool. Thanks a lot, Kutam. Thank Give you. Okay. okay, cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. So we've with the robots, right? And we yeah. have also an, another one which is uh, quite cool. And I think Florian yeah. from Konrad uh, will show yeah. you it in action. Hi. Hi. So, hi. so who are you? I'm uh, Florian from Conrad Electronics. All right, Conrad is like a, a store? Yeah, it's... it's uh, in the, in the Germany, right? Yes, sir. We have many stores in Germany. And like a media map, or better. Better. Better than media <laughs> better. Better so, for the mark makers or something. And is this a real product in the store? Yeah, this is this is coming soon. It's a self. Yeah. It's a self development. It's a, a hexabot. We launched it in eight weeks, something. And today you can use your own film board or something or Arduino with your own sensors or cameras. 
and there you can do some crazy things or you only have fun with it. So when people buy this, is it a kit they have to build it? or? Yeah, it comes in a self-building kit. So all the parts you have to screw them together? Yeah, it comes with, the, with this remote controller, um, with the PCB. 18 servos. What is this PCB here? Yeah, this is the self-developed self -developed port. You can use your own uh, logic port, Nucleon or Arduino or Raspberry Pi or something. How does it connect? How is it back? Uh, it connects with the... Uh, uh, what are these ports? Uh, the standard uh, connector ports yeah, or something? Yes, yeah, the standard connector ports. And then... Uh, yeah, sorry, I disconnected it, but uh, then what is this? A fan? No. <laughs> this is a speaker. Speaker? Yeah. Right. So when you saw no need change. for fan. <laughs> and no. it works even without the board, so that means yeah. it has a brain even without the head. Yeah, you can use it with the remote controller directly, or you can um, control it with your own logic board. And the uh, big batteries in there? Yes, it's 4 amp batteries, 6 volts. How and long will it last on battery? It's different. We have different modes to running, and then you can run some hour or half hour when you take more speed. Some things. And uh, on this board, can you program like a self-piloting? Yes, like sure. Automation. Yeah, yeah. You can automatically, or you can sensors or cameras or some things. You can follow some dark lines on the ground. Can Last you add a, an arm to open the fridge, take the beer, and put it on and bring it? It's a very good idea. It's possible. Yeah, sure, it's possible. So, uh, how much is this kit? It's coming soon in eight weeks with 599 euros. All right. That's cool. Yeah. All right. You're welcome. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Man. Cool. All right. So um, uh, I'm walking around over here. So there's more and more queues over here with the, with the exactly, people. Exactly. So as I said, there are really up to 5,000 boards. But what I want to show you more is basically uh, we on the embedded board, we know that some of our customers are coming and they would like to speak to our experts, to our application engineers uh, that know the product by heart, so they know all the bits and bytes. And here basically they can come and they can help to debug their application on the software and hardware standpoint, okay? So this is very important added value, that the customers can come, they are very much welcome and we can help them to, to develop their, their, their code. So you have all the boards in here? Yes, so this is the, the tool, the, what we call F uh, stm 32 cube uh, platform. This GUI has a couple of uh, functions. You can start with like a product selector. You choose which arm you want. Exactly. So you say, I want a Cortex M7. Exactly. So you select Cortex M7 and it will filter for you all the possibilities we have. And you see there are really, really a lot of products there. You can uh, select. How can you have so many products? Well, because, you know, the idea from, uh, from the beginning of STM32 was to, to create a really big family of MCUs which keep maximum compatibility in between. So the designer can uh, use the same platform, the same peripheries, uh, the same tools, uh, whatever he's designing, simple sensor up to you know very complex gateway. So this is one of the benefits of this family. And the software is compatible with one board to the other? And exactly, so we keep the compatibility through our libraries, uh, but also on the hardware level. So today, uh, most of the components are pin-to-pin -pin compatible as well. What's the software that people run mostly? So today, of course, uh, most of the code is based on C, right? And we provide libraries, uh, two type, uh, one which is optimized on the code size and, uh, and code efficiency, called low layer. And the second one, which is uh, more universal and flexible, it's a hardware abstractor layer. All right. So uh, is it easy to provide support for all these millions of developers? Exactly. So you see, they, board, as we saw, they, they get a board here, right? Yeah. Then they go to our web page, they download the, the STM32 cube, which uh, brings them the bridge between the hardware to the software because inside the cube they can also configure the peripheries they want to use and it will generate the code for them so the uh, exactly so it will it will prepare the project in your favorite IDE with all the peripheries configured with all the drivers there and you can start to develop your application code on top so that's why it says release your creativity exactly um, this is the main motto of STM32 yeah. because our products our people and our tools uh, are here really to to bring all these cool things as you see here Cool. Okay, and the last one I would like to show you here yeah. today is a, it's a very specific technology. Yeah. Okay, uh, from company called Neonode. Uh, Hi. Hey. So, Eng, if you could uh, help a little bit to introduce uh, your nice technology to us. Sure. Sure. 
So this is actually Neonode, and you know what we do is we do interactive technologies. Yeah, uh, I've done videos with you in the past. Uh, you're from Sweden, right? Yes, the correct. And so, you have these, um, uh, what do you call R uh, IR? Yeah, sensors? it's an, it's a uh, laser-based infrared system. We use ST's micro, the 32-bit, of course the uh, uh, M4, and we also use an ASIC that we have developed together with uh, ST Micro. So right. here you have the lasers and the photodiodes on this side that we wire bond directly to the substrate. And that yes. way we build a module that actually, you know, interacts in the air, looks like this. Uh, so it's for air touch. So it's air touch. And the way you can actually see that. Uh, this is a hologram right now. It's a holographic display. So uh, and you can actually the, air, the image is floating right now. Yeah, so by placing it in front uh, of the image, you can now yep. interact with the image. And of course you can play nice music. Actually. Yeah. Also, interact with it in different ways. You could be a face application. You can use a, a chopstick in the air. Yes. All right. Yeah, I want some cash, so 500. All right. Okay. Okay. So that's fine. Cool. So you can be medical. Could be an x ray if you really want to uh, manipulate your doctor, you don't want yeah. to get your hands contaminated. Yeah. So it's a uh, really interactive technology using the best out of ST. What does it say here? Uh, Z Force Air. These are the manufacturing steps. So here you see the PCB that we first manufacture in our own manufacturing plant. We put the optics on top of the uh, PCB. So the elements there are the ones that control the light flow. And then we just encapsulate that with metal. And you call it the ASCA 3D plate? Yeah, ASCA, the display technology comes from a partner in Japan called AsukaNet. And we do the interaction technology based on then, you know, so that the display can actually do something more. Shipping? It's shipping. The, the whole solution? Uh, it's actually the shipping from Japan, the plate, and the interactive technology from Neono is actually available from DigiKey today. Thanks. Okay, so yeah. the really last thing, uh, just yeah. you know, to close our nice tour, yeah. is here with uh, with Still, Stan, and let me introduce Barbara, which will take you just a few words about their nice solution. So, hello, I will do very fast. So, I'm the creators of a Steel, we start up uh, in Paris, Ebertian Station F. And so we station are F. Station F in so Paris. The, the, the coolest startup in Station F. Exactly, you absolutely. Are. Apparently, the most silly uh, uh, <laughs> smart object ever. And uh, in the video and here, you're doing what? Yeah. So this is pen spinning, and so what we are creating is the first connected pen. Uh, when you can see here, more interesting, I invite you to yeah. see Alexi. <laughs> so first connected pen will allow us to play with. So we're creating an electronic card who's based on the ST microelectronics, so all the sensors like accelerometer, gyroscope and magneto. We're sending the information via Bluetooth in our smartphone and there behind there is an algorithm who can say us basically which kind of figure you're doing. So the first chosen discipline is pen spinning. And so as you, you choose, see, what do you choose spinning. here? So here are the categories uh, you can uh, try. Let's take the expert. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And here you have, you know, the way with difficulty. Oops, it's uh, yeah. uh, better still, so yeah. there's not so much stuff. So how do you choose, uh, what happened in the expert level? Uh, what you here do there is uh, still nothing right now, know. but there are fundamentals, if yeah. you wish. Let's look here. The first trick, like the thumb around. I have to copy him? Copy yeah. the... Yeah. And it tells you if you did it correctly? Yeah. Exactly. Wow. So, so, you, at the, at the, so you train with this, mm -hmm. then after you can do it with any pen. And uh, people are going to be mind blown by what you do. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. everyone can do. <laughs> it teaches so, people to join with their friends. Exactly. Yeah. So this is the first uh, kind of a connected toy, but the future of uh, steel is much more higher. We'd like to put together, you know, the material toys like a pen or even yo-yo or a frisbee. And what we can imagine to connect and to use the advantage of the digital world, so the connection, application, learning, and uh, is this for sale? And challenging. Yes, it would be. It would be in Kickstarter on the beginning of June. So June. is it going to be ready for Christmas? Everybody can buy. We're working on it actually. Thanks to ST, we find a solution to be possible maybe to do really until the Christmas. So it because could be Christmas the gift. Christmas will be a big gift. Uh, yeah. How much will cost? Uh, between 68 euro. We're still working on the prices. Cool. How long is the battery? 
the battery today on this prototype it's a five hours but full playing as you see Alex so uh, it's quite comfortable for play all day without any troubles but uh, the new one it would be challenging for uh, keep on eight hours nice that's cool and potentially the app will have all kinds of functionality of recording what you just did and kind of show a 3D version of it? Yes, of course. Well, actually, we can and try to connect can, uh, it. Let's do you it. You can connect it to uh, some kind of, uh, let, let's say, a clown or something. And then uh, the 3D clown is going to show what you just did. Yeah. That could be the best objective. Yeah. We are still not yet. We're still working on it. As you see, it's a beta. But, uh, 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 we are six today, free on the techno, uh, technology part and free on the communication and uh, marketing. Station F. Station F is amazing. You have to definitely <laughs> see it. I'm from Czech Republic. Czech Republic? Yeah. And I'm French. French, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's amazing, uh, it's a big and uh, potentially uh, you're the next billion dollar company. Let's hope. <laughs> right. I trust in you that we are the next unicorn. Cool. Thanks, a lot. Thanks to Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. So let me stop here. You know. Uh, so first, for, thanks for watching. Uh, it was a pleasure to yeah. to give you this uh, guide tour uh, in 2018 Embedded World. Uh, Embedded World is a very important conference for ST, right? Definitely, because here we see Embedded World as a the physical place where we meet with our partners, with we meet with our community, and we give them a chance to share and collaborate all together.